And welcome back to the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. Seth Letterman is on the show today. He is the franchise matchmaker. Uh, I'm so excited to, for you to be able to hear some of the keys to finding the right franchise for you. Seth, you've, cre- you've shown us how you create success. You've shown us who would be the right person. But what is the process in connecting you directly? What do you want people to do that are considering franchising as a future? So if you're considering franchise ownership as a career transition alternative, perhaps as an investment strategy to diversify your portfolio, reach out to me. Uh, In a very short phone call, we can determine whether or not this is the right direction for you. Uh, And if it is, I'll let you know. And if it's not, I'm going to tell you that too. Uh, It's in everybody's best interest to know as early as possible if we're putting the ladder against the wrong wall. So come out to my website. That link is there. You can come on there. There's a lot of great information. And let's get a call. We'll determine from that call if it makes sense to take the next step. And that step would be a discovery call. So we spend a good hour going through and getting very clear on what's most important to you and your family to achieve through franchise ownership. And then set me up for success in researching options that I'd present to you. Yeah. So I know one of the other things that I would really encourage, because I read your book over the weekend, is that they download the PDF uh, that is there on your uh, on the frannexus.com website and uh, and get acquainted with some of the challenges and some of the questions that they need to ask you uh, when you connect. And then once they once they do get through that area of uh, the, the discovery call, so to speak, and really looking at, is it right? Um, what are the processes that you walk people through next? So after we've pr- I've presented options to them and through a process of elimination, narrow them down, at some point we're going to engage with these franchise brands and make introductions. Uh, the franchise brands will take them through uh, benchmarks uh, in determining whether this is the right fit for both sides. Uh, And that will include a review of the franchise disclosure document, lengthy document. It's basically an offering prospectus. It's updated yearly. It's audited information. It provides the consumer the ability to look at several options and have that information delivered in the same format to make a comparison easier. How much of that process are you involved in? So fiduciary responsibilities uh, prevent me from making any kind of earnings claims. Anything uh, about performance will be within that document. The brand will review this document with them. I always encourage that they seek legal counsel when they get to the point of decision making. Franchise attorneys are invaluable in reviewing the documents, making sure that they understand their obligations and commitments to the franchise for that what is a 10 year agreement in most cases. Right. And understand what the franchise's obligations and commitments are to them for that 10 year agreement. So I help them in how to properly review that document and encourage them to get legal counsel when they get to the final uh, concept that they would consider moving forward with. Do you, do you provide that for them, the, the, uh, the attorney, or is that something We that- have relationships with professionals that they would need throughout any step of the process. Accountants, uh, certainly attorneys, uh, various funding sources that will help in providing an education on the options they could consider and the implications of those options. So everything they would need is within the realm of my expertise and guidance in providing resources. I have tools I provide at every step of the way. My goal is to make sure that they maximize every step that they're at in the evaluation process, get all the information they need, dot every I, cross every T, and making sure that when they get to decision-making time, they're leaping over a small stream, not jumping over the ocean to get there. Yeah, well, that's one of the things that I also saw is that you actually um, shorten the distance between I want this and uh, their ability to actually 
in a sense, close on the purchase of that franchise? Well, I think uh, there's a buyer's journey in, in anything. This is a huge decision, and I don't take that lightly. Uh, extremely important that the timing has to work for the candidate. This could be a, a three-month process. Uh, it's gone as long as a year for some people. On average, it's about six months from the initial phone call till they be signing on the dotted line. So this has to be in alignment with what's gonna work for them timing-wise. And Absolutely. we get clear on that in the beginning too. Absolutely. So they should go to your website. They should uh, connect with you and do the call. They should download the book, make sure that they get most more information. Um, but allow you the opportunity to actually help them find the ideal, really the ideal uh, franchise and model that will be the most profitable, the most successful for them. And that is something that I'm, I'm so excited about. I know that as we, as we wrap it up, is there any, any final what yes. you'd want so, somebody to write uh, I now? think important for everyone to know that I don't put square pegs in round holes. It's not good for the peg and the hole doesn't like it. I'm about a good fit. I need to sleep at night and knowing that I made a good match of both sides is great. And the best thing is there's no cost for my services. I am compensated by any of the franchises I would introduce them to for the introduction and for that matchmaking. Very good. Folks, this has been the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. I am really glad that I had the opportunity to have Seth Letterman on the show today, the franchise matchmaker. I encourage you to connect with him right away if you're looking at a transition in your career. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you next time.